Hey, guess what? <clears throat> Sketchbook video time. <laughs> that was a real, that wasn't a good intro, actually. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Yo, what up? Guess what it is? It's time for a sketchbook video. <clears throat> hey, guess what? <laughs> it's time for a new sketchbook video. I'm sorry I don't have it set up. I'm really sorry. It's not gonna be stable. It's gonna be shaky cam. It's gonna be found footage. It's gonna be a horror movie of a sketchbook tour and we're just gonna go through the journey together. This is a pretty long sketchbook actually. So I'm going through it like, like sonic speed right now. I'm gonna go so fast. That's young Kylo Ren. Some ladies. I was watching Sense and Sensibility for the first time and it was pretty good. I watched the 19... 90 ver 1994? I don't remember. The one with uh, Emma Thompson in it. These are some storyboards for a, a, an Adventure Time animatic I'm gonna finish one day. That's 11. I'm super pumped for Stranger Things Season 3. Coming out in 6 years, probably. Ray. That's Stevie Nicks. Uh, yeah. A lot of floating heads in this book, but also I did try to do a lot of more figures, like full figures and stuff. I tried. I tried doing new things. It's hard to change. <laughs> Ugh. That sketch reminds me of Ronald McDonald in the worst way, and I don't know why. I actually like this page, so let's focus on it for a bit. <laughs> I'm trying to focus more on character design and concept stuff, because that's kind of what I want to go into. I've kind of had like this interesting, like, soul-searching thing lately where I, I gotta find out which major I want to do. And right now I'm doing illustration, but I, I can either apply to the, the BFA for illustration or, or the BFA for animation. That's Leia and young, that's Leia with Ben when he's a baby. That's young Holdo. Um, anyway, so, I had to kind of make that decision recently, or, you know, and, well, guess what? In my school, there's, like, two different types of illustration you can do, and one is more closely tied with animation, which is perfect, because that's exactly what I wanted to do, was, like, something that is involved with animation, but isn't necessarily the actual, like, 3D modeling or animating part, because my school mostly focuses on that stuff. So I've always been interested in the concept slash storyboarding, character design side of things, story art side of things, rather than um, like 3D modeling or CGI animating or I don't know. I am really interested in 2D animation and I know my, my school sort of has something for that but it's mostly based off of 3D modeling, which I'm not as interested in and I'm more interested in is the concept side of things. And the illustration program, BFA, has something like that. And this is really boring, I'm realizing. I'm just like ranting on about the school stuff. But it is what I've been dealing with in my art life, so... <laughs> anyway, so I'm I'm glad that I kind of figured out what I want to do. I want to apply to the illustration BFA and focus on concept art and character design and storyboarding and things like that. And that is the news update with me. Not that I wouldn't ever want to do animation. I am still interested in animation. I mean, I want to work, like, in film and stuff. Like, that's what I want to do, you know? But just this is how I want to do it because I think that's how I would best use my skills. Sorry if I'm, I'm going too fast, just like, just put it on a slower speed and I can talk like I'm drunk or something. That's what it sounds like when you put YouTube videos on slower speed. These are post-it notes. I used to just like fill my sketchbooks with only post-it notes. Well, not only, but just a lot. And I don't usually, but I find myself doodling on post-it notes a lot more these days and just putting them in my sketchbook. Um, but I'm trying hard to only draw my sketchbook, which is a lot easier for me now, actually. So this was, I was sort of doodling um, Meg from the wrinkling and wrinkling time because I was very pumped for it. This is before I saw the movie, but that's what that is. And these are structural studies for one of my classes. These were structural studies that failed, and then I taped uh, post-it notes over them with really obnoxious masking tape. So that's fun. But yeah, some character design stuff. These are more structural studies. 
I'm taking a figure drawing class and that's really helping me like be more confident in drawing the figure which I'm really excited about because I've been trying to get better at that for a long time because it's what I love drawing the most Yay! I drew this like right after I saw Black Panther because I loved the art design in that movie and the costume design and like the hair design and the makeup and Shuri was beautiful and I love her and she was my favorite character. And please make a spinoff movie with her Marvel. Please. Uh, I like this page. It's kind of weird. I like it. Um, this is like part of my planner that's actually made of cardboard that I doodled on and I was like I don't know, just throw this away, so I just cut it out and like glued it in here. These are doodles for my first semester notes. So this was not done, these sketches in these next few pages were not done this semester, but last semester, so a few months ago. Oh look, it's the Adventure Zone boys. I listen, I'm, I work as a custodian, uh, so I do a lot of mopping and just cleaning. My first three months of work I just listened to the entirety of the Adventure Zone. We use paint in my composition class and I just kind of stole some and put it in my sketchbook because I like the color. I'm a color thief. A character sheet, kind of. Ugh. I don't know, drawings that fail, sometimes I rip them out. Like I did a failed drawing today, I just kind of ripped it out. But it was in the middle of a big theater and it made the loudest ripping sound. I was just like, it was so dramatic. I was like, <laughs> just destroying my art. I mean, that's what you do in a theater, right? It's dramatic. That's based off of figure skating because I was watching the Olympics. <clears throat> but I couldn't draw like skates, so they're just dancing, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Wait, what was I looking at? Oh, this. <laughs> Just a pen sketch that I did upside down and ruined the direction of my sketchbook. Okay, I can't chat too much. This video is going to be 20 minutes long again. I don't want to do that. I don't really have much to say about these things. Oh, these were sketches. That's kind of like, I drew Bucky Barnes from memory. It doesn't look like him, does it? It really doesn't, but you know. We were watching all the Marvel movies. I have been watching all the Marvel movies, by the way. Hand studies. That one I don't like as much. I do like that one though. I'm proud of that hand. That's a good hand, isn't it? More structure studies. Okay, actually that's better. Yeah. Head studies. <clears throat> Lots of floating heads, you know. When you don't feel like drawing, just stick to your comfort zone. Another head study. That's drawing of Meg Murray. From Wrinkling Time, which was a great movie, and I have a full review on this channel if you want to watch it. It's like 15 minutes long, and that was attempt at Oprah, but it's bad. That's another Meg Murray. I love Storm Reed. She's great. Also, she liked one of my Instagram posts, and I freaked out. Noses. Mouths. This, these mouths are down. Yeah, I was just practicing. Practicing anatomy. Important. Yeah, it's been weird having like homework that is art homework that I need to prioritize over other homework. Because my entire high school existence was like, okay, you gotta do your other homework first, and then you can do art. And now I have to learn like, no, art is your major. You need to focus on art first, Manon. And I'm like, what? I've had to relearn what my priorities are and like how I need to, you know, prioritize my art homework because it's literally what I want to do as a job. It's the system. The system told me that art isn't worth it. The sketchbook I went through pretty fast, actually. I mean, it was like three months, but for this like long of a sketchbook, it was pretty good, pretty fast. I was drawing this while I was watching the Oscars, so it's really like unorganized and weird because I was like watching the Oscars and not paying attention to what I was drawing. Ears. My eyes. Some more eyes. Those were Wrinkle in Time sketches. That's Wreath Withers Witherspoon as Mrs. What's It, and then that's a picture of Storm Reed on her Instagram, and that's uh, another Meg Murray. Um, it's almost done, I think. I have a few more pages. That was a drawing that was going really well, and then I didn't finish it because I was scared that it would 
Okay. These are post-it notes I kind of cut out and put in my sketchbook because I didn't want them to look like post-it notes. They look cooler this way anyway. That's a more finished Meg Murray drawing I did. That's the one that Storm Reed liked on Instagram. I was so happy. These were silhouettes. This was for one of my homework assignments. Just drawing silhouettes of people. And it turned out pretty cool. I like how the movement works when they're just silhouettes. Uh, head studies. A lot of the rest of these pages are just studies I had to do for homework. But they helped. For some of my studies, I just like drew people that I like. Like John Boyega. I think that was Zendaya. These are some kind of plant beings. Someone on my Instagram said they reminded me, uh, or reminded them of Groot. So, yeah. A guy actually came into my, my figure drawing class who animated parts of Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was like, what? Tell me how it, how, tell me everything. It was awesome. He apparently animated that one little part where Ego is waving from the ship, and then Raccoon thinks he's a tiny man. Anyway, that's what my education is, guys. It's great. These are the uh, misfits, the outcasts, that I just stuck in the back of my sketchbook. This was <laughs> this was a sketch of uh, Chris Fleming that went wrong. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the end. Did I show you the front of my sketchbook? I got some stickers. Those are my stickers in the front of my sketchbook. And this. And those. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching.